Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're great today. So today's reading is a short snapshot reading. Um, it is his current thoughts, feelings and intentions. So it's normal Friday reading, although I tagged on feelings and intentions, although I always do thoughts, feelings and intentions really, but I tend to call it his current thoughts. Anyway, whatever. I hope you're all doing great today. My name is Kat. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. Just to let you know that this is a regular Friday reading that I do. If you've just happened upon this, then of course this um, could be an, a general answer to the situation with uh, your person and the way they see you. Um, it could be about a specific time when you've seen them, you know, something like that. If you're here regularly, of course, it's a kind of an update on their current thoughts, feelings, um, intentions, etc. Um, remember it is their thoughts so it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to do it or not do it as the case may be you know um you need to gauge that based on the person so anyway enough of me talking if you would like a private reading with me you can check the description box below okay here's or her obviously current thoughts feelings intentions likely actions so we've got queen of coins the high priestess the queen of cups wow reevaluate your priorities ask with sincerity count your blessings so this person's thoughts are um it's interesting because with the high priestess here i mean there's all this feminine energy all these female energies um this person could have more than one female in their life so that could be a symbol for that um this person wants to communicate um, we've got reevaluate priorities, ask with sincerity, count your blessings. I feel like this person is thinking of you very, very favorably. For me, you know, the queen of coins is normally um, a, a wife energy, a, a commitment energy. Um, the queen of cups is a loving energy, someone who sees you as their partner, sees you as loving, nurturing, someone they feel very romantic feelings for. The high priestess in the middle, though, it could indicate no contact or ghosting or distance either by you or by them there's this kind of mystery and distance between you guys despite the fact that he or she sees you so romantically we've got reevaluate your priorities so it might be that this person is starting to think hang on am i doing the right thing here so if you are in a no contact they might be reassessing that uh, because they are starting, they see you really, really well, but they've maybe not made you their priorities and their priority and they're wondering about whether they ought to change that. We've got ask with sincerity. So uh, they do want to ask you things. I feel like that's the case. And count your blessings is saying that they feel really fortunate. They feel really lucky. So the thoughts and feelings are that they, they do feel really fortunate to have you in their life or to have had you in their life. They want to ask you something honestly they maybe want to be honest with you maybe for the first time or the first time in a while they want to change the way things are with reevaluate your priorities and they do see you um they just feel a lot of commitment energy here but there's a lot of mystery here there's a lot of unknown there's a lot of maybe misunderstood signals as well with the high priestess in the middle here they may feel like they're not able to approach you or you may feel you're not able to approach them because there's this kind of like unknown as well. Um, so, uh, but they generally do feel like they want to reach out, they want to speak to you and they want to um, re they want to reevaluate the way things have been going between you guys. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. See you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two. How are you doing? So, his or her current thoughts. We've got page of coins, six of coins, the devil. Build on solid ground, retreat, and take the lead. So, this person um, wants to reach out, wants to make an offer, wants a new start with the page of coins six of coins they want to give something they want to share something they want to offer something they want to take charge of that and take the lead so if you are looking for a new start with this person or a new phase or there's something that you want that maybe is trying to happen between you guys what it looks like is this person does want to take the lead on that because they feel like this is them 
enthusiastic, wanting to start something new, wanting to offer something to you, wanting to take charge, take the lead. But something holds them back because we've got take the lead and retreat. So they're kind of going backwards and forwards. They want to come towards you, but they don't or they retreat or they hide away. Why? We've got build on solid ground. This is like, to me, the tower in this deck, which is the Sunny Shaket Divine Energy Oracle, by the way. So they like, they come towards you, but then or they want to come towards you, but then they're afraid that they're not on firm foundations. They're maybe uncertain about you, uncertain about how you feel, or maybe something happened in the past between you guys, like a big fight or a, a disagreement or something went wrong. Um... And so because of this tower-like energy, this re remembering the chaos or the sadness or the fear or whatever, they kind of don't know whether to come towards you or not. With the devil, there's definitely some fear, some anxiety. Um, it could be a little bit of their own pride as well. So is any of those kind of like ego emotions? So pride could be the, the thing that's stopping them um, from coming forward. They definitely want to, but it's like early days. It's like they're thinking about it, but it might not actually manifest because they want to do it. But I think also because Six of Coins is about reciprocation. So they may be afraid to come towards you in case it's not reciprocated, you know. Um, so that's their current thoughts. I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So this is his or her current thoughts. We've got king of swords, nine of coins, king of wands. Wow. It's weird because the other, one of the other groups had loads of two queens and now this has got two kings with something in the middle as well. Weird. Four of coins, shine your light, be your true self, be true to yourself, speak up. Wow. This is really about authenticity. This person wants to speak to you. They want to speak up. They want to be their true self. I keep saying this. I think this is what it means. So be true to yourself. They want to be their true self. They want to be honest. They want to speak up. They want to empower themselves, shine their light. Something's stopping them though. They're assessing. With the King of Swords as the opening card, they're assessing the situation. They're trying to plan and organize how to take action or what action to take they're thinking a lot about the connection they're thinking a lot about you thinking okay you know like what am i going to do they feel very stuck i think with the nine of coins it's not a general understanding of what the nine of coins means it's just my understanding i think they're kind of in a comfort zone they don't really know how to get out of it they do want to take action to get out of it though with the king of wands finances and a sense of insecurity could keep them stuck where they are. Um, so some of you, this might be that they're in a, a, a relationship or with somebody else or that they're afraid to start a relationship or they're afraid to move forward with your relationship. This could be a lot of practical and financial worries that maybe you are or aren't aware of as to why they kind of don't feel able to come forward or, or, to, or to move forward in this situation. I feel like it's more the communication thing. Like, no, they're correcting me. It's not just communication, it's action. Because the king of wands, they want to get things sorted. They want to move things forwards. Um, but something's holding them back. Yeah, so it's going to be different for, for, you know, for each one of you. But they do f want, they are feeling very empowered by the connection. They want to be honest they want to communicate. So if you haven't had communication with this person, it does look like they want to communicate with you. They want to speak up. They want to be true to themselves and they want to shine their light. They don't want to hide or hide anymore. <laughs> okay, hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading on a private reading. In the meantime, bye.